Alright guys, here we are at the first game of the second round. This is round two. And the first match that we're checking out here, this is Grant Huddleston uh, versus Travis Murray. I am uh, Steven, joined by Robert. And we're going to ha have a go at this game here. Now we have Waylon playing Andromeda here. And uh, we'll just get right down into it. Grant playing a sure gamble. Uh, Travis on his turn looks like uh, green level clearance and two pieces of ice. Grant doing the old sure gamble, easy mark, and uh, kind of showing what Andromeda is all about. Uh, right. The ability to get all these economy cards right off the bat and just throw them down and, and start the game with an absurd amount of money. Because everybody likes common. to be rich. Yes, of course. <laughs> it is, after all, a, uh, a credit-based game. That's right. Uh, there are resources to be gained. And Katie. What? This is already in the realm of bananas. And Pump and Katie. So, that's a good first turn it is. Uh, for Grant. Going to have to discard down to one because of the KD, but uh, got some pretty crazy economy there. Mm -hmm. KD's out. Already has three honor. Starting the game with ten. Just very nice. Travis throwing down another green level clearance. Interesting splash, to be honest. Um, you wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't normally see this as a, uh, a common splash card. Mm -hmm. It's costing one, you're gaining three, and drawing a card. So, uh, you know, if you do the basic math of having to draw it and then having to play it, that's two clicks. And then it's getting you essentially four clicks. So it's, it's not bad, but uh, a lot of people would disagree that it's worth splashing. Travis, obviously, saying it is worth it and uh, winning. <laughs> uh, so back over to Grant, we put out a Crypsis, put a counter on it, and it looks like we're about to make a run. Third action, gonna run HQ. Flip Travis, wall uh, static. Uh, res wall static. Woo. So we'll see if Grant wants to pay Crypsis to get in there. I'd be surprised if he did. Yeah. Frankly. I think at this point, maybe just bounce over to R&D and see what's up. Yep. Looks like that's what he's gonna do. Gonna hit Katie again and uh, pass it back to Travis. Drawing a card because he has to. It's in the rules. You must do these things. Oh, green! I know why. Because green level is a transaction. Yeah, He's so running, he gets an extra credit. Running the new Wayland, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was understood. <laughs> I, had, I had forgotten. <laughs> Hostile, Hostile takeover. Hostile takeover. Just score it. There you go. Boom. Great out of hand. Just gain seven. Bad mm -hmm. publicity. And uh, from what I know, Mr. Lee over here on Grant's side, from what I know, Travis is really there to kill you uh, with Scorched Earth. Uh, from what I understand, he, he did a lot of that during the tournament, so yep. watch out. Yeah, seldom did he win by actually scoring agendas. It was generally a flatlining event. So Grant, uh, nice nice play here. Plays out Mr. Lee, hits him twice, and I believe hits Katie yet again. So we've we've got a very obvious uh, rhythm here. Always, always put three on Katie because right. the economy is just ludicrous. <clears throat> Back on Travis is in. He's got a decent hand there. Drawn his card, yeah. And we've got a remote and uh, something protecting it. Two things, two pieces of ice now. Mm -hmm. Nuts. Ooh, and a hedge and fund. fund. Alright, so plays ice, essentially gains a credit to cancel the bonus, and then plays a hedge fund, from what I can tell. That looks like the case. And what is Grant going to do? You can see uh, Travis is in here. He does have at least one Scorched Earth yep. and an Atlas. Looks like. Is he an R&D interface over there in Grant's hand? Might have a chat with Mr. Lee at some point soon. <laughs> there he's doing he it goes. right now. Yeah. And Sneak Door over Compromise Employee, it looks like. Great right choice. We're going to get an easy... Boy, that hand is ready for yeah, it sneak is. doors. See two that agendas, interface? two agendas, and a scorched earth. In Grant's hand, he has an interface. <clears throat> is it R and D or HQ? I think it's. Is it both? I think it was HQ, but I wasn't quite sure. If it was green, it was R and D. I think it was green. And that is R and D. It's R and D. Hmm. Caduceus. Interesting. Interesting. Boy, a sneak door and run there could have been a big deal. Yep. We're going to go ahead and see it. Card one. Card two. There it is. There it is. Woo! And almost the game win is in Travis's hand right now. That's right. He can sneak door in there. 
man. And it's bad to have that many agendas. That it is. Oh. Very much is. Huh. Oh. Bad pub. Hey, remember that? <laughs> That's a thing that I can use. Yeah. I'm glad it was remembered because otherwise that agenda is just ridiculous. Yeah, so it would be OP. And that's, uh, frankly, it seems to be a common thing to forget that you're bad publicity. Yeah, it's really, I mean, there's the one thing in the game that does it. And yeah. And it's, it's that agenda generally. Is it really just bad publicity now that does, uh, or um, break, what is it, a hostile takeover that gives you a bad publicity? Is that it? There is, let me think if I can think of other things off the top of my head. Yeah, because I, I certainly can. I'm just semi-surprised. Yeah, off the top of my head, I, I want to say that there is, but man, I can't think of anything right now. <laughs> Correct us if we're wrong in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I, kn I, I have the feeling that there's at least one more. Yeah, I would like to I think so. I just can't remember. Who knows? Not me. I know there's cards coming that play off bad publicity a lot. There should be. Coming down the pipeline, like uh, in this next cycle of data packs, there's going to be some really cool bad publicity uh, cards. I didn't know they distributed by a pipeline. I think you can give yourself that publicity. In the, I saw a card that did that the other day. What? Yes, sir. The very same. <laughs> All right, Grant. Let's hit Mr. Lee. Man, this is a card that uh, is making a, a strong showing in this game. The efficiency of that draw has been pretty ludicrous now. Mm -hmm. that he's used it four or five times. And looks like second action. It's got to pump Katie, right? We're going to inside Ooh. job to you, R&D. Nice. Is that an agenda? Can't tell. Nope. Is that an agenda? Nope. It's a nice wall. All right, so checked it out. There goes Katie, and we're done. See, interesting thing. Ooh. Advance, advance, advance. Advance, advance, advance. Interesting thing is uh, holding on to that sneak door. Uh, Grant's really being cautious and patient with the sneak door, mm -hmm. uh, waiting for the right time. He's got also got an emergency shutdown in his hand, so I'm, I'm thinking that he's waiting to see a decent piece of ice, lay down the sneak door, and then shut it down. Yeah. But at the same time, you got to move. I feel like he lost his window here yeah. to, to get the agendas out of hand. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Because they were pretty much there for the, the taking. That's right. All right, Travis, coming back in. Uh, Got a nice ball now. Drawing it up and considering the board, looking at what can be done, what should be done. And as we talked about last time with Travis, I really enjoy that uh, a lot of his eyes, just a lot of his cards are all about getting money. Yeah. You know, like we talked about Caduceus, all about getting money. I think he has some shadows. Um, those kinds of things, and that may be a, a symptom of just playing Wayland, mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, I, I wonder if those things were chosen for that. Wow. Look at that. What a man. Bean suck and I a couldn't have started mentioning that at a better time. <laughs> so he's got green level clearances, he's got bean stocks, he's got hedge funds, caduceus shadow. Uh, I mean, this is a lot of money. I, I have to think he has melange as well. I don't know for sure, but <laughs> I would hope. Sure gamble on Granton. Is it going to return the favor? Up to eight. Should be nine. Nine, excuse me. Counting is fun. Always threes. <laughs> All right, Travis gonna draw here. Pretty. I mean, it's a good cycler. Pretty reasonable ice field here. Mm -hmm. uh, slowing down R and D a little bit. I feel like Grant wasn't as fast as I usually see him in these games. Uh, I don't know if he's playing a little bit more cautious in the top eight or if it's just the way that the hand was dealt, but mm -hmm. he's had a lot of money and he's had Crypsis from pretty much from the start and we've really only seen one run. We yeah. saw a second with inside John, but uh, we haven't, haven't seen him really go after anything yet. I don't know if he's waiting maybe for a few more R&D interfaces or uh, the right moment for Sneak Door, I don't know. But uh, Travis here using an Atlas token. <clears throat> What's he gonna go for? Ooh. Getting a post of bounty. Where do you post that? Reddit? I don't know. <laughs> Reddit of the future has posted bounties. 
All right, cards go back in. And I can only assume that maybe this is going to get played. Looks like. Develop, develop. That isn't it. Or is it? It's not in his hand. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I like it. Grant, come on over. Do you think you can get this? Here's the point. I like that. I like that move a lot. Mm-hmm. It's crafty. What are we going to do? Grant even having the, the bad publicity, that's going to help. I, I want him to get in there. Yep. Start hitting R&D. What's going to do? Mm, that fit, fit, fit the talent hand. I'm sure he's also just waiting for a juicy piece of ice to use it with. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's the thing. Maybe this... Uh, has Grant played Travis yet in the day? Do you know? Oh, I don't know. Uh, so he's going to take Katie first action. There it is. He's going to fim that second piece of ice. Wow, that's a, a nice blind. Yeah, it is. I like it when those go Blind idea. But I was speculating if um, up, he's never played Travis uh, so far today, if this uh, deck type is just kind of throwing him a little bit for a loop. It's like all these uh, mediocre pieces of ice that are only just like ending the run for cheap or giving him money. I... Do you wait for I doubt, the, I mean, looking I for that toll booth or something like that to use Pentatalon or Hadrian's oh, Archer? Oh, wrong. Wow. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think he's taken off guard terribly much. This is pretty standard Wayland stuffs. Archer coming out. And wow. Now i got to wonder what was fimmed. Yeah, probably a nice wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's gonna be rough. Yeah, yeah. that's a, a really really unhappy chance there. Yeah. Pay six to get up to strength. He can break everything because of the bad pub. If I'm not mistaken, he's got nine over there. Six, one to break. He can let the corp gains two fire. Maybe have enough to get down there. But man, that's gonna cost him everything. They will, but he doesn't want to lose programs. It's true. They will stop a trash in the room. Yeah, he's going to break the whole thing. So nice. All right, and then we are, I assume, going to go to the... Uh, uh, of course, he doesn't break the game, too. Standard standard archer uh, handling there. <laughs> Protocols. <laughs> and, Grant, are we going to keep going? No, no, no. Are we going to keep going? I, I He's assume. <laughs> He's got two open to break subroutines. That's totally, probably enough. I mean, unless that was just a weird server. I th yeah, I think he can come on in. Travis says as much. Boom. Accessing? You sure? Risen? Boom. It is a data raven. Nice. Sweet. So I assume Grant's going to bypass here. That's right. It is still Fem. I don't know why the counter is gone. Well, fem has gone. Ah, Fem was gone. All right. Wow. See you. So what? I guess he didn't pay off the archer as much, huh? Yep. Got one. That, let's see. Up to six. Seven, eight. So he broke in the run and uh, one of the trashes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It is that's it, man. That's a that's a pretty, that's a really fascinating thing that just happened. Yeah, yeah I'm not quite sure I understand it, but there it is. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, he didn't really. He wanted to be able to get interesting, huh? Boom. Tag, scorch, scorch. Boom, boom, boom. boom. That's all you got to do. And there you have it. What a deck. This is uh, the meta says. Wayland Tag and Bag is <laughs> Travis's deck. Yep. Uh, the best, probably, that it can be. So there you go. Uh, Grant, I feel like maybe missing an opportunity there, but prob I mean, that last was just so hard, hitting an archer kind of unexpectedly. Yeah. It's wild stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. We've got the second game coming up, so uh, click around to find it. It will be right here in front of you, and uh, we will check in on Travis and Grant for game two. See ya.